everybody, welcome back to My Little Investigations. Uh, last episode, we did stuff. This episode, or no, didn't we talk to, uh, Apple Bloom? I think so. I was like, uh, I don't know how long ago. But, uh, now we're gonna go say hi to, uh, eight, uh, Rarity. We're gonna go trot over there. Alright. Now, let's go interrogate her. She's not telling us something, and I think Apple Bloom just told us that thing. So, let's see if we can unlock it. Why, thank you! Ugh. I... Okay. Wait. Oh. Rarity. Up. No. You... Ugh. Alright, present evidence. What evidence do we need? Do we need Scootaloo? Here you go. Rarity. Darling, whatever do you mean? I dare say I resent your accusation, my dear. All right, then. Let's look at this a different way. How quickly did you come downstairs after you thought something was wrong? Immediately, of course. But I don't see what relevance that has to anything. I don't have all the answers here, but neither does Rarity. Maybe I can get her to talk if I make it seem like I know more than I really do. Hmm, not the best strategy, but okay. Rarity, I spoke to Apple Bloom earlier and learned that she witnessed Scootaloo crashing through your window last night. I also learned that Scootaloo stayed for roughly a minute before leaving the boutique. <laughs> roughly a minute. Now, if you came downstairs immediately after hearing the crash, don't you think you might have seen something? Ah! I mean, that is... Uh... I suppose you do have a point. Got her. Thanks, Celestia. It worked. Alright, now we got last night. You are correct, Twilight. I did see Scootaloo last night. I did not know what to make of it, and then to protect her. I do apologize for not being forthright about it. I understand, Rarity. But if that investigation team from Canterlot comes here and finds any of that out, what do you think their conclusion is going to be? You do have a point, I must say. All right, time to get I to the bottom of this. Gonna say all right, because I always say all right. Let's interrogate. All right, Rarity, please tell me everything you know about what you saw last night. Rarity. Help if I don't have all the details. Okay, okay, Twilight. Here's the thing. I don't want to interrupt you. So, like, whenever you say something, I don't want to keep talking. You're you're the main character here. I'm just lukewarm gamer. I just control you. But, okay. Okay. Here's the thing. You need to not interrupt me so I don't interrupt you. Okay? Okay. Of course, Twilight. I shall do my best. I finished my work for yesterday earlier than expected, so I had wanted to get my beauty suit. I have been somewhat deprived. Given that a certain client had made several last-minute orders. What client? Just a minute. Which certain client ha! was this? Got it. Out of curiosity. That was actually the question. Well, that was but Sapphire Shores. <gasps> Give me such good business. Sapphire. I, I don't want to gossip, of course, but my goodness, does that man love jewels, Twilight? Although, I suppose her request was what got me searching for gems. Which was what caused me to find True Blue in the first place. It wasn't so bad, all things told. Well, as soon as I get True Blue back, that is. <laughs> hint, hint. What? <coughs> right, so oh, anyway, right. you had just gone to sleep? True Blue was the I stolen gem. I fall into a blissful, restful sleep when, all of a sudden, I awoke to the sound of a loud crash coming from the first floor! Let's press for info! Just a minute. What kind of crash are we talking about, exactly? Oh, well, I don't know, Twilight. Maybe the freaking broken window right behind you? <laughs> kind of crash that a window makes when it gets broken. Honestly, Twilight, I dare say I needn't spell this one out for you. Yeah. Even Rarity's doing, saying... Gosh, Twilight, you, you suck. Uh huh, right, right. So, what did you do when you heard this crash? Well, I was just scared out of my wits at that moment, so I made great haste downstairs to 
see what in Celestia's name was going on! Press for info! Just a minute. If there were potentially dangerous thieves in your home, why would you have gone downstairs so quickly? Weren't you worried for your safety? Yeah! I suppose that I did not even consider the possibility that I might have been in danger, now that you mention it. But really, Twilight, that's rather beside the point, is it not? I don't care, I'm pressing you for info rarity. I found there was awful, terrible, horrible! The first floor of my boutique! Ransacked! Ruined! Torn apart! Oh, what is a mare to do? Press for info! That's what a mare's to do. Wow, you seem pretty upset. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, her whole boutique kinda got destroyed. Suck. Now I'm going to have to put all that work into sorting the first floor all over again. God. That's what has her upset? I know I can be a bit obsessive about organization, but sheesh. You know what, Twilight? Shut up. Worse still, True Blue, my prized jewel, was gone. Searched for my very home. And worst of all, the very first thing I saw when I arrived was an orange and purple pony darting out my door. Hmm. You know, I think we'll press for info. I, I cannot explain what I saw any other way than to say that a scooter loop purposely broke into my boutique to steal True Blue. Well, what other explanation could there be? Um, maybe Apple Bloom's testimony. Bam. Very. What you said contradicts this bit of evidence. Um, no. I don't believe it does, Twilight. I, I, oh, uh... <laughs> I think it does, I though. Think I... I'm pretty sure... Just a minute. Is that... Is that really the only interpretation there is for what happened? I'm afraid I can't think of any other, Twilight. I do truly apologize. Surely you can see why I kept this from you, Twilight. This isn't Scootaloo at all. Yet, there she was. I know this can't be right. It just can. But is there anything wrong with what she's saying? I finished my work for yesterday earlier than expected. Alright, so I guess this is all the info so, we're going to I know. be able to get from her. So, I guess we'll present... Um... After, I guess we'll present hmm. Apple Blooms. Rare. <sighs> um, oh, I finished my work. I had. Alright, I don't. Worse. I don't. Surely. Uh. I know. No! No! Uh. Alright, uh, I'm so bad at this. I'm horrible with menus, guys. Okay. Stop. Present evidence. But what evidence is there? Because. <sighs> do we just. Hmm. No. Rarity. Send evidence. Apple Bloom. Hmm. Rarity. No. Present evidence. I don't know what else to do but Apple Bloom's testimony. I mean. Um. Hmm. Uh, Rarity. What? <sighs> hmm. I didn't actually know there was one for a Twilight. That's me, Twilight Sparkle. Every pony says I'm an egghead. I can't help it if I'm we if I'm well read and inquisitive. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Star shaped object? I don't even know what this is. Rarity. No. Alright. Okay. Uh, Apple Bloom's testimony. Maybe Apple Bloom's hmm. cape. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know what else to do. Hmm. No. Very. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Piece of twine outside the carousel boutique. So, hmm. Um, Very. What you? I think it goes, aha, if I get it right. Um, I guess I'll just try everything. Sweet bell. Hmm. 
Is this all that I have? Because none of it's worked yet, and I doubt me. Because. Yeah, I've tried everything except for myself, or Twilight. Yeah, do I need to go find more evidence? I guess I'll go do that. Alright, let's go. Alright. Uh, I don't know where else there could be ev evidence, though. Like, we've checked, we've checked a lot of places, actually. Uh, I guess we didn't go over here. Whoa. Um, I don't... Uh. Oh, hello. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Are you new in town? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, duh. I'm a time traveler. Name's Evan Sparkle. Oh. All right, then. Uh, what now? I've seen weird introductions before, but sheesh. Yeah. Time traveler. But my time machine broke down, so now I'm kind of stuck here. For now, at least. So I'm trying to make a living as best as I can. Nice place you got here, although a little rusty. If I may say so. Breathe, Breathe Twilight. <sighs> Breathe. Breathe. So, how exactly are you a time traveler? Time travel spells are incredibly high level. I mean, I only managed to go back in time a week, and even then, I only had less than a minute. Oh, Twilight, you need to think outside the box. Gotta go know how the impossible becomes possible. Or something like that. Momento was a bit of a cute. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is I built a time machine, and, well, now I'm here. Uh-huh. And I'm secretly a robot. With mysterious powers. Really? Huh. I didn't think they had robots in this age. Hold on. Let me get some tools and open you up and have a look at how you work. Um... Ah! No, 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 no! I was joking! Sheesh. Oh? Huh. Can I to stop you talking to you now? You how robotic you were acting. <sighs> Even ponies from the future don't give me a break. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess next time we'll see if I can. This road leads to Sweet Apple Acres. I don't have any business there. Focus, Twilight. I, I don't know where else to look, guys. I, uh, you probably don't have anything to say. Is there anything in the statue? This is one beautifully carved statue. I wonder what it's for. Oh, hey, there's a dedication here. Erected in honor of the bravest, most upright public servant Ponyville has ever known. I'm getting the sense that this is talking about the mayor, and was written by the mayor. <laughs> uh, don't have I don't close. have any business at town hall. The mayor is probably busy. Right. Okay. I don't want to bother her without cause. I get it, Twilight. I don't know where else to look, guys. Um. Where am I going? I I don't know, Twilight. I don't know. No reason to go in that. Direction. God, I don't want this video to be like long or anything. But I honestly just don't. I want to find out stuff, but I can't find out anything. So I guess this video is gonna be sh the same, a bit longer. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll I'll, I'll figure it out. <sighs> Stay beautiful. Bye bye.